Hi there, how are you doing? Um, I wanted to do a quick video um, uh, just to show you some, something that I'm really proud of and that I really enjoy playing and using and getting stuff out of. Um, and I also wanted to extend my absolute thanks and gratitude to um, Steve Benwith for his um, first comment on my very first video. Um, it meant a lot. Um, it meant a lot, Steve, so thank you very much for that. Um, I'm surprised and quite frankly shocked that you've replied. It was a, it's, it's an amazing thing. You, uh, for me, you're such a prolific um, individual, almost a celebrity. Um, in fact, you are a celebrity. <laughs> so, to, It's better than an autograph, put it that way. Um, so um, It'll stay with me for a long time, so thank you ever so much for that. Um, I wanted to sort of say thank you for that in the only way that I can think of and that's to um just throw a bit of caution to the wind and show you what I look like. Um so hello. Um it's it's basically a confidence thing. Um so um I'm really pleased and like humbled that you know that I'm finally <laughs> you know I'm, I'm getting noticed so to speak. Um I really wanted to do just a video of something to be fair it's been done to death YouTube has got a stack of videos about this, and um, it's nothing really new. I want to try and put a, a new-ish spin on it. Um, it. Might cause a little bit of controversy, but um, I'm hoping that um, it will at least um, show you a different side to things, and maybe show you a reason why you should maybe get this item. So, without further gilding the lily or whatever, um, I'll get down to business. Um, it is this. This. Um, is well, it is what it is. It is a game gear, and this game gear is um, pretty much my pride and joy. Um, it's arguably, in terms of my collection, which is modest to say the least, but in terms of my collection, it's probably my second favourite item. Um, the first being my Atari Lynx 2. Um, I've basically had it cleaned and repaired. It came to me in virtually like knackered condition. The capacitors had gone on it. The classic um, game gear issue of capacitors um, rearing its ugly head. Some slight issues with the buttons and things like that. Um, it was mistreated and um, I have I take things like that quite quite badly. Um, stuff like electronics and stuff like that get mistreated. It, it, it gets to me a little bit to be honest with you. Um, it's kind of history, isn't it? You know, it's kind of like uh, I don't know, filling a vase up with beer and drinking out of it, and um, that kind of thing. Basically, I wanted to show you a game. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to show you, um, obviously the game game, um, is the cartridge itself because the cartridge is kind of special. It's although it's not immediately obvious, this is an EverDrive GG. I don't know if you can see that there, but that's the little slot there for the micro SD card. Um, basically. Um, I wanted something just to be able to play my games easily and straightforwardly, and um, I figured the EverDrive. Um, don't know who that is, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> back to the video. Um, I plugged in the EverDrive, um, and I'll switch it on. It takes a little bit of work, but there, that's what on now. Um, don't know if you can see that very well, but um, what we have there is the main menu screen for the EverDrive, so start game, select game, toolbox. Um, pretty explanatory stuff really. Select game, then you can choose from any games that are actually on the actual micro SD card. Um, it plays Master System games and Sega Game 1000 games. Um, so um, basically a nice wide variety of games are available to you um, very easily and very straightforwardly. Um, what I've done is I've, I've loaded the game into the EverDrive already. So when I go to start game, hopefully, there it is, um, it'll load in. And this is one of my all-time favourite games on, on the Game Gear. It's something that I return to so many times. Um, and I really wanted to show that to you in this video. And as you can see, hopefully, it's devilish. Um, some people might know this game, um, especially the hardcore among you. Um, I've always championed the Game Gear as much as I possibly can do, making myself look stupid sometimes in the process. But this is one game that um, people seem to come back to. Um, think of all the best bits of um, Arkanoid, Breakout, and 
um, Warlords um, and Atari, a classic Atari game for four players. Um, think of all of those three kind of amalgamated together in a kind of like time trial type sort of situation. And you've got the kind of, the, kind of um, the beginnings of what this game's about. I'm going to go to normal game, and I'm just going to start the game in a normal fashion. So basically, I'm going to use one hand to control. Um, what you have is basically um, two bats, which can change to three bats when you press the um, buttons, the action buttons. And um, what you have is the standard sort of breakout kind of game or Arcanine type game. The interesting thing about it is, is that you have to push through the blocks and make your way through. Um, as you do, the screen push scrolls through and um, you basically just got to power your way through to the end. You have a strict time limit, um, even on normal modes, even on the easier game settings, you actually have quite a strict time limit. You have to use um, various different uh, patterns on the back to push your way through the stage, click power-ups, all the cans and stuff like that. I'm going to give you some indication of what the different, what the action buttons actually do. Um, bear with me. So that you can split it into three. You can do that. You can do that. There's all kinds of classic things that you can do. You know, there's all kinds of different things you can do with it basically. And the idea is, is that you just got to push through and try and get to the end of the stage. Uh, as as you get good, and then um, I'm not good with one hand. Um, you actually get you, you actually get bosses like mini bosses and things like that that you've got to try and beat, and um, other baddies and other bits and pieces. Um, and you're in your quest to get to the end of the stage. Uh, I don't know much about the story. I don't know much about any of that. And um, what I do know is, is that the game's insanely addictive, and um, not least because of the strict time limits, which finds you find yourself getting frustrated, but not in the, a way that puts you off. Um, you can also affect the speed and things like that to some extent. Um, what you do is you press number two, and um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's like triangles that illustrate the speed. That's the speed of the bat. Um, so you can actually, you know, adjust the gameplay to suit really, um, all in game, which is kind of cool. Um, the game is really, really addictive, and it's got just enough frustration. There's just enough of a frustration factor to make you want to play more. Um, I'm never, I never get tired of the game. I, at some stage, I'll always play the game at least once, um, just to try and beat the scores, try and beat times, that kind of thing. There's a time trial mode as well, which is kind of pretty self-explanatory. Um, but it's looking like I'm going to die one way or the other. So. Anyway, so that's that really. Um, so what I really wanted to do was just sort of try and move things up a notch in terms of um, the way that I'm doing things now. Um, and I also just want to briefly touch upon something before I go. Um, I, I'm not going to keep to a very tight schedule on in terms of uploading, in terms of the content. Um, I work nights, so um, sometimes it's quite difficult to um, find time to do things anyway, um, not least because get I get tired very easily. But the other thing as well is, is I tend to do things on the spare of the moment. That's like in with every aspect of my life. Um, I get a hankering to do something and then I think, well, I'll just go ahead and do it. So um, I won't make too many idle promises, but what I will say to you is, is that I'm hoping to show you things um, about consoles that a lot of people have, a lot of consoles that I own, a lot of people have criticised be it because of the commercial success or lack of or or something like that. What I want to do is I want to try and show you these things in a new light. I want to try and show you that these consoles have value um, and that value is usually brought on by the modern by modern technology basically. But um, I really want to show you the, the value uh, to some of these items and hopefully um, give you a reason to collect um, or to um, hopefully improve the you know the replay value of your own collections um, I don't really have a point or a goal with this um, I genuinely don't know what I'm doing and um, I have absolutely no concept of where I'm going with this other than to give hopefully a fresh spin on on old things and um, you'll have probably seen a million videos like this and I'm hoping that if you see my videos you'll give them a, a reasonable sort of shout out or a chance if you like um, once again, 
just before I go, I wanted to say a huge, huge, like, Wayne's World style, I'm not worthy to Steve, Steve Benway um, for uh, the first comment um, on the very first video. Um, it's an absolute credit, uh, you know, it's, uh, he's an absolute credit to the to the YouTube community, um, a community that I've stood in the sidelines watching um, with interest, um, you know, and it's the classic thing of, you should do that, and um, I've now decided to do it. Um, so, Thank you, Mr. Benway. Um, you have my eternal gratitude. Um, hopefully, um, speak to you some more, and hopefully, give you some more interesting and new things to look at. See you soon.